Hey there, good morning. I'm John. Today is Friday, May 17th, 2024. <clears throat> you uh, have tuned in for yet another entry in my daily vlog, my regular ritual stand-up, uh, where each morning I come in here and turn on the lights and the camera and talk about what I've been doing and doing next and how it's going in my endeavor to try to make content creation sustainable indefinitely. Uh, and uh, got a real, uh, uh, is it an update? It's more of an impact. We'll talk about that at the end of this video <clears throat> uh, that's happening today. So um, I'll start by talking about yesterday. <clears throat> I did just as planned yesterday. I uh, shot the gameplay and the stand up and the edit and everything for my Friday plays. I released it to uh, YouTube members yesterday and it will come out today at three o'clock. Uh, so that uh, as planned, got that one done. Remember, you'll recall this is a much lesser known game I mentioned uh, because I mean there are so only so many of those top tier rock star games that you we could possibly cover. Uh, so we have to start testing the water for the lesser known games because there are hundreds of them, but you know uh, they're not all the the you know 20 most popular ones. And so um, I think it's it's a it's a great. I think it's a great place to explore those types of games, and that's how I treated this uh, Friday Plays. Uh, I'm a little anxious to see how this one performs. I'm guessing it won't perform as well as previous ones. I'm uh, also standing by to be pleasantly surprised in case it's the format and presentation that are getting people in the door versus just the most popular game on the planet kind of thing. I mean, Smurf did well, so but it's also a popular franchise, so... Uh, yeah, we'll, when we talk Monday, we'll see how it did, right? So uh, I expect it'll do okay, but mm -mm, a little nervous about it. So anyway, um, I got those other short videos uploaded that I talked about as well. And by upload, I mean upload and tag and markup and thumbnail and all the little things that you do to them. Uh, I think I now have about about 30 shorts loaded up and ready to publish any given time. I usually publish every day-ish. Uh, maybe once or twice on the weekend as well, but I have, I have about a month of them lined up at least. So, uh, but I got to keep filling that chamber because I try not to put daily effort into those, just publish them daily. So, uh, let's then talk about, <laughs> oh, I also did some prep work for a new tier, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but I did kind of do that in the evening. Let's talk about stats, uh, uh views, you know, I would like to be over the last seven day running average uh, and stay above 10,000 views and 50 subscribers. Uh, views have been okay. Uh, 12,000 views average over the last seven days. Subscribers have been on a steady down tick. I think yesterday was like 21, which really impacts the average and bring it down to 34 average over the last seven days. Typically the weekend is a little better, although that better usually starts on Thursday and it doesn't seem to this week. So we'll see if Friday and Saturday uh, perform well for us or not. Um, we did just squeak over the next milestone though, all that being said, 49,200 and a couple. Uh, so we did make it to 49 too, which puts us only 800 away from the 50,000 milestone. Uh, that we're kind of thinking maybe, you know, end of month, that's just a couple of weeks away, probably a little more. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so let's talk about today. Uh, I want to begin working on that new tier video, just like last time starting it very early and working on it in the cracks in days when I don't have full days or have extra time worked out really well. So I've selected a new topic. I have my spreadsheet lined up and I've begun a little bit of research to learn more about, I think I've played none of these games probably. So <laughs> it's going to take some time, uh, but I'm excited to do that. I, it is one that has been requested in the past. So I can start working on that. Uh, and I need to, I didn't yesterday, I need to start writing for the, the debate podcast next Friday because it's, it's, it's a little writing that I need to get done and, uh, and, and get working on that. It's probably going to be kind of a half day of productivity today. So I mentioned uh, at the end of the, the beginning of the video, I would talk here at the end uh, about impacts. Um, and this is just a side effect of, of normal life. Like, so I have this runway that I've talked about how much time I have. Uh, to try to reach viability um, and I have uh, you know I, I told you I'm taking a, a salary from Gen X grown up that isn't enough to pay my bills so I augment that with my savings um, and so I kind of have planned how much how long that have how long that lasts you know I have an idea that you know maybe all things going okay I might could I what could last at the current velocity for a couple more years um, but that assumes you know if, if things go up like that 
could last longer. The other thing that could impact it, of course, is uh, draws on my savings. So uh, after my trip last week, uh, got back and uh, driving somewhere and I, uh, I, I spotted like, what's, what's this dirt on my tire? Not dirt on my tire, it was the belt showing through on my tire. So <laughs> it's time to buy new tires. Uh, so, I mean, four tires installed, all that. I mean, we're talking just under a thousand dollars. Uh, and that's a, look, I, I'm far from the first person or only person who's ever been living on a fixed income. Uh, I'm actually living on a negative income if you, if you'll consider that way. And so, um, it's an important purchase. It's not one that I cannot do. I need to do it's that kind of thing. Uh, but, uh, I, I, I look at purchases like that as like, oh, that is coming off the end of my runway. You know, when I have an expenditure like that, that I can't just cover with my, my, you know, whatever, whatever I've built into my slush fund to pay for, you know, gas and meals and drinks and things like that. A thousand dollars like that is like, well, that's got to come out of savings. That's, that's got to come from somewhere. And so I imagine on that runway, you know, somewhere down at the end of the runway, there's a guy with a pickaxe and a jackhammer and they're tearing up 20 foot of runway. You know, they're saying, well, you, you got to take off that much sooner because we're taking away this, this, this comfort buffer that you have to try to stay afloat. Uh, those things happen. I mean, we just had the AC a couple of weeks ago that went out and luckily that was under warranty. Uh, and then I mentioned, oh, well, we did this, um, uh, it was also time to renew our air conditioner, uh, maintenance plan, which was just a couple hundred dollars, you know, it was like 150 or something, which is one of those things I can absorb into my just my average budget kind of thing uh, over a couple of months and take care of that. But big things like this, they're I, again, I'm, I'm not lamenting, oh, woe is me, uh, uh, because look, I put myself in this situation voluntarily. There are plenty of people who are on a fixed income um, through no, no fault of their own. That's just the situation that they're in, be they retired or be they unemployed or whatever. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just observing that, uh, it's frustrating when like is an unexpected expense hits you that takes away from that, that slush fund that you have, that buffer, that savings that you're like, ah, crap, I, I have to succeed that much sooner because I have less, less, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> less in the bank is basically what I was I'm looking for a clever analogy and I'm drawing a blank because it's just, it's just not, it's not, it's not a witty thing to talk about. It's just a nuts and bolts number that look, good news is it's one of those things like I'm not going to need new tires again soon. Those are going to last you know many years, just like my old ones did, but you never know what it's going to be. You know, it's hurricane season comes through and the fence blows down or you know, something happens to the roof or, you know, whatever, you know, unexpected medical expense, things like that. You never know what's going to happen. And it's one of those things where it's like, I can't, I can't not be safe, right? It's one of those things you have to do. Uh, but as, as such, I mitigated as best as possible. What are the least expensive tires that are still rated properly for my car? that are still safe. That is not a waste of money because it's garbage and that kind of thing. So there we are. Um, yeah, just, you know, you never know, you and I never know what I'm going to talk about on this vlog. Sometimes it's about content creation. Sometimes it's about the air conditioner. Sometimes it's about you know, these tires or whatever, or my daughter moving out, whatever, because, because these are the things that this experiment doesn't happen in a vacuum. You know, the world and life continues to proceed right along as it always would. It doesn't care that I don't have a steady income because life is going to keep happening just like it does. Was it Jamie the other day that said something about uh, uh, life is the main quest punctuated by side quests? And yeah, that was a very clever thing. I never heard that, but it's very appropriate. And so today, you know, early in the afternoon, I'll drive off for my side quest to pay somebody a bunch of money to put new tires on my car. The plus size, the plus side of that is now I can safely attend SFGE. I can drive to places that I need and things like that. It's a benefit, but you have to do it. So uh, I think I'm done harping on that. I'm, <laughs> I woe is me enough about this unexpected expenditure, but these vlogs I always think of, someone is going to come along wanting to do this same thing. I know several people watch now who are vicariously kind of, I wish I could do that kind of thing. You can, I'm not sure I recommend it, but you can. 
Uh, but these are the things that happen. You know, these unexpected expenses and those little side quests pop up and sometimes you got to do them to proceed in the main quest. And that's what I had to do today. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get busy. Probably a half day to day to all the stuff I have to get done around that. So, uh, thank you for being here to check out the vlog today. If you did, you know, if you're every day, I love you for that. Thank you so much. It is Friday, so we got that going for us. So have a good Friday and a wonderful weekend. Remember to do something good for yourself, and I'll talk to you again on Monday. Bye-bye.